Okay, let me just make sure that I'm recording. Uh, it's really a triple play of uh, our study review, but a triple play nevertheless. Hi, everybody. This is Angelo Quinones and you reach IM Ministries. IM Ministries is designed to give you dependable and accurate answers that come straight from God's holiness and as far as the Bible, and I'm completely exhausted, basically. I'm holding my phone like Moses held up his hands. Remember that story? And uh, two people had to hold his his arms up. Okay, <laughs> you understand? That's how I feel. I'm just, just I'm, I'm just completely dead tired right now. So I need I need to pray. Holy and merciful and blessed God, I just praise your holy name because it is great and you are great. I just pray and confess my sins to you, O holy and merciful God. And I just pray that you just cleanse anything away that's that's that's, that's foul and ugly and and. and and uh, whatever the case may be, our oh Lord, by the precious blood of Jesus and through his cross, I just pray that you can cleanse and forgive me of all these sins. And I just pray for power, uh, uh, peace and boldness and accuracy. And I'm very tired and exhausted, Lord, so just see through the study that I don't make any stupid mistakes. But I proclaim um, honestly and boldly the truth. That shall set the the, uh, the hearts of many free by your precious grace. I just I thank you for all things, both spiritual and physical, even for my tiredness, which brings humility in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, guys, this is the clue. The God is the key, and the reason why I'm so tired is because uh, well, you know, I got alone recently, and I don't want to intend it because uh, because the Holy Spirit in verse thirteen. Of another uh, uh, book, Ephesians of chapter one was given to us like a down payment, though. You understand? Um, and so I, was, I bought some some man and some uh, gravel and uh, and some boss, and I was putting some of those materials away today in bags. And you can just guess how heavy each one of those bags are. This is way over twenty pounds. It's like forty pounds each. And I, I, I'm thinking before we get into the Holy Spirit's, uh, uh, into the prophecy of the Holy Spirit, told and recorded by Jesus. Um, you know that the, there's armies that are fighting now, and each each troop has sixty pounds of gear. Sixty. Now that is not dead weight, though. That's the thing about that. It's not like. You're putting a whole bunch of, you know, uh, you're putting a whole bag of cement on your on your back. You, you you know it's not as useless as all that. That's your ammunition. Is that what I'm saying? Your ammunition, your rations, your 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 water, your your uh, an extra extra gun, a knife, or whatever you have uh, that that's with you to war to go to battle. Well, you know, this is more livelier than that than just gra you know carrying gravel and, <laughs> and whatever the case may be. You understand what I'm saying? So, but, but 60 pounds of gear, that's a lot of gear. Uh, more than 60 pounds of weight that people have been carrying around uh, while they're in a false religion, cult, or sect. There's a lot that people can bear. But Jesus said, before we get into study, uh, take, uh, take my yoke upon yourself and learn of me because I am gentle. For I am gentle of heart. And you shall find rest for your souls. For, for my yoke is easy. There is a yoke. Huh? My yoke is easy. My burden is light. There, there is a, there is a burden. There is a yoke. People don't teach about the yoke and the burden. And when you get into Christianity, you think there's nothing to carry, nothing to bear, and you're shocked, you know. And then, uh, and the stuff is here is recorded. Now we're, we're talking about the Trinity, especially the Holy Spirit. Now I want to bring to you a triple play. Okay, if you know baseball, you know what's a triple play. You understand what I'm saying? The guy, the guy. Uh, hits the ball to third base. He steps on it. Somebody was running there. He's out. Then he throws to second base. Somebody was running to first to second. He's out. That's not what I'm saying. Before he gets to the, the, where the ball was thrown at, and then uh, the the shortstop or the second baseman. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, takes the ball, uh, having caught it. You understand what I'm saying? And stepped on the bag or whatever the case may be. Or before the other guy, you know, showed up. He throws to the first and he's out to either the first baseman or the pitcher. You understand what I'm saying? Well, who knows? The catcher might have got it. Who knows? Who cares? Triple play. The Holy Spirit is a person. Is that clear? That's clear. You understand what I'm saying? Did you understand? 
that Muhammad is not in either of these texts. Let's just be plain. Let's just be honest. Let's just be clear. Muhammad is not here in the Bible. Nowhere has we recorded in Holy Scripture. The Holy Bible. Is that is it clear? He's not here. He's not in the next chapter. And I and I managed to clone the two because I the other day I was trying to study, make a study. I turned on the recorder and I couldn't find you know what I was looking for in in uh, chapter fifteen. And so I cloned it, and so I'll never forget it. And still, I'm going to teach you how to do it. In the next chapter, after uh, chapter fifteen and sixteen, I think that's true. He ain't there either. I mean, he's nowhere to be found. Where's Muhammad? At? I'm just saying. Uh, we all know that Muhammad never wrote a thing in his life. You know, some that that's in the Quran anyway. I mean, there were you know traditions that he probably spoke and stuff like that and said and did. You understand what I'm saying? But this is not about Muhammad. It's about the Holy Spirit. Let's get back to him. But in order to say what these things are not, we have to say what this is not teaching. This is not a prophecy, Muhammad. What I'm saying. It's not. Jesus is here. The Father is here. The Holy Spirit is, 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 is here in the teaching. And then, you know, he talks about the disciples. That's about it, man. And some of this stuff is applied to us, the kick, the church. But the Muhammad, I just don't, I just don't, I don't know why people, you know, who fight against the Bible, they want to, the, they, they want to, you know, downplay the scriptures and say it's corrupt and stuff like that. You know, Mormon is the offspring uh, of, of Islam. Yeah. The deal. Remember that uh, old Joseph Smith was called a Yankee Muhammad. Read it in a book entitled, okay, you understand what I'm saying? Um, uh, I think the subtitle is something like this. Uh, Joseph Smith, founder of uh, uh, Mormonism. I forgot what the, the, the main title was, though. I think it was is this like Joseph Smith or something like that. Something like that. I got. I got to get back to uh, Amazon.com because it's by the author is by Alvin Schmidt, and he appeared a, a lot of times on, on issues, etc. It's a sort of Lutheran radio broadcast. You understand what I'm saying? But I might end that. I might put that as an appendix. Uh, so I might uh, just stay tuned for an appendix or so to the triple play, and there you may see okay the book and everything like that when I make that recording maybe today or tomorrow when I recover. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I I I need to recover from my tiredness, and I gotta recover from my tiredness of hearing, uh, you know, Islam saying that Muhammad is yeah. Why y'all gotta lie? There, there, there's two kinds of, uh, of Islamic so-called believers. It's the, the you know the, the the lukewarm person that 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 never took a pistol in his life. You know what I'm saying? Never shot anybody, never set up a bomb, never, never, you know, hijacked a plane, never, never, never did anything. Thank God. There's another type that, that, that follows the Quran to a T, I mean, perfectly. Very zealous. And as the person that shoots his, his pistol and his gun, AK-47, the one is about to get annihilated by, you know, Israel. Uh -huh. Can't stand Israel, can't get rid of them. Is that what I'm saying? You can't stamp out the state of Israel. It's, it's, it's impossible. Why even try? Except what the Bible says, man, that Israel has the promise of Isaac. You understand? You guys running around, you're Ishmael. You don't got the promise. You're lucky that God gave Ishmael water and let, let him survive. If he didn't, there wouldn't be one Arab alive. He, he didn't do it for Islam, I'll tell you that right now. He did it for the for the elect people in, in, in Ishmael's loins. You understand what I'm saying? There were some Christians to be born from Ishmael. Even from Ishmael, even from him. You understand what I'm saying? The unbelieving... Unbelieving Islam, you know, being saved 
by the grace of the living God to another religion called Christianity to see only the beauty of Jesus versus Muhammad. That's, that's, that's their words, not mine. Even though I believe that Jesus is beautiful, you know what I'm saying? That's just a deal. So let's get to this. Let's get to the triple play. Okay, now we studied, uh, you know, verses from chapter, you know, at least a verse from chapter 14, a verse from chapter 15, and, uh, and uh, about four verses from chapter uh, 16. So let's rehash what we studied about the Holy Spirit. And believe me, wait until y'all get a whiff of chapter 16, man. Y'all don't believe. Yeah, now I'm talking about the Jehovah's Witness, the runny nose that knocks your door on a Saturday. Yeah, they even come here in this country. Can't get rid of the Jehovah's Witnesses. They're like a gum on a shoe. You understand what I'm saying? Goodness gracious. You ever been in school and you, and, and you touch under a desk or like uh, just, I, I don't care what part of the desk it is. It could be any part of a chair or whatever. And there's gum there. It's been there for years. Goodness gracious. It's just like that or something like that. You understand what I'm saying? Jehovah's Witnesses. So called. Well, um. Let's get to this. Uh, verse 26, you understand? That's uh, just the deal. Verse 26, uh, chapter 14. Now, we went to the full Greek, so we're not going to get everything right now. Suffice it to say that the Greek word for helper is parakletos. Not parakletos, parakletos. You know, so I don't know why some people say parakletos. It's parakletos because the acute markers on the, on the second syllable. Uh, you know, over uh, the second alpha, you know, what I'm saying? But anyway, but Akletas, it means a helper. It means, you know, it's, it's, it's just. So, yeah, we have, but it's the NASB, a uh, very, very respected Bible. But the helper, Parakletas, the Holy Spirit, okay, Tapanuma, uh, Hagian, the Spirit is, is, is third there in, in, in the word order, whom, that's probably Han, a relative pronoun, whom. Okay, the Father, and that's Pater, will send. That's, uh, I believe, Pemse, because it's talking in third person. So you have the Elf, the, uh, the uh, you have the Epsilon and Yoda of third person, uh, not third person, personal pronoun, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, primary act of uh, uh, personal ending, third person. So you got, and then you got the Sigma before, no, not the Sigma in case in the PC. The sound of it, anyway, you can't see the sigma because it's using a letter that kills two birds with one stone, keeping the integrity of the stem. Uh, the C is using using the P sound there, right? To keeping the integrity of P, and then uh, the sigma being used, uh, the the sound of it, anyway, keeping the integrity of the of the future transformative. Uh, uh, that's why it's being used. You know what I'm saying? But we went through that already. But still, very important to Greek. It is the standard, no matter what the knucklehead said in the, you know, in the King James only camp. But the uh, helper, uh, the Holy Spirit, Tapa Numa. Some people say it used to say Numa. Barnhouse used to just pronounce the the nu and not the and not the p. And he was a Greek scholar. He was a scholar, believe me. He was a historian more than a Greek scholar. But anything, anybody that any. Any anything that anybody can do in Greek or history, Barnhouse could have done very easily, but he chose not to teach like that. It was not the time for the church to to consume teachings like that. You know, now everybody wants to know Greek. If Barnhouse was living now, oh, well, he'd be writing everything that Mounts and uh, and then and, uh, and um, everybody else is writing. He just chose not to write like that. You know, not to teach like that. He used to wor use words with one syllable, for God's sakes. Okay, you understand? That was he, that's why he was so great, praise God. But the, uh, Dr. Donald Gray Barnhouse, by the way. But the uh, helper, Parakletos, the Holy Spirit, okay, Tapanuma Hagian, uh, whom the Father, okay, will send, and Pempse is send, it will send, it comes from Pempo, I send. In my name, Anama, okay, Mu is probably there in Greek. He will teach. He will teach you, and that's in the future tense. He will teach. And then you is probably uh, Humin or Humas, one of those uh, pronouns. All things, and it's probably Panta over there, and Greek word probably Kai, bring to your 
remembrance. Now you know you got the moon, new, and eta there. That's for sure. Not work, Greek work. All, th all that I, okay, said uh, to you. And that's probably Lego there. Okay. Well, but you know you could get into my Greek study. So the Holy Spirit is is, is, is recorded here. Now let's check this out. Let's go slowly here, though. Okay. But the helper. So he's a helper. He can't be a force. He's a helper, man. He's helping. The Holy Spirit, and that's the identification of the third person in the Trinity, whom uh, the Father will send. So he, he, he gets sent. In my name, he will teach. Wait a minute, he's a teacher, man. You understand? I want to just yell. I'll scare the neighbors. I, I, I promise you that I want to yell at the top of my lungs. I mean, it's as, as hard as you can hear. No pun intended because you got the word here that he will hear, you know, in chapter 16, for God's sakes. I mean, he helps. I mean, he what else you want? He's a teacher. He teaches. Force can't teach. Now, don't give me this hocus pocus about cell phones and stuff like that teaching. You understand what I'm saying? They had no cell phones in those days and machines like that. They had machines, I agree. Open door sesame and stuff like that. They had them in those days. You just trigger something on the ground and two doors open up and spook and it will spook you half to death. Especially in those days. And I'm probably talking way before this was this stuff was recorded. They had those open doors and stuff like that. You ever went to a supermarket or, or, or a mall, or something like that opens up the door? So what? They had it, you know, two thousand years ago. Probably two thousand five hundred years ago. You understand what I'm saying? So though here the father will send okay in my name. He will teach. He will teach you. The disciples in the plural. We went through that. We went through that. Uh, the, the the second person personal pronoun from the from the who uh, who may uh, who makes paradigm. You understand what I'm saying? Who makes who moan who mean who mass. No gender, but you got the number there in case. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? Teach you the plural. The disciples. Well, say Muhammad's going to teach. Says the teacher that the Holy Spirit is going to teach. And, uh, Muhammad never came in the name of Jesus in his life. You know what I'm saying? It is there. Who the Father? Wait a minute. Islam don't believe in, in, in that Jesus is the Son of God. They don't believe that the, the Allah is with an A H, by the way. Where you get this this teaching that Allah in the Bible in the Greek and New Testament, Alpha Lana Lana Alpha, Alpha is not even with an H. <laughs> it's Allah. It's not. Stop stealing from us, plagiarizing. You understand what I'm saying? You would have get flunked, you would have got flunked in your university. You understand what I'm saying? Oh yeah, Islamic folks. I'm just saying. Ain't nobody scared of you. Jesus told me not to fear. I don't fear. I don't fear. Listen. I mean, uh, what my mother used to say is a cuckoo in the closet. There's a monster in the closet. closet. I want her to see it. I, I ain't scared that somebody's going to be in a leg of fat. I ain't scared. No, no. I ain't scared of Islam. I ain't scared of nobody. The disciples wasn't scared. Jesus wasn't scared. No, but I don't feel no man. But it says over here, the helper, Paracletus, okay, the, the 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 Holy Spirit. You understand what I'm saying? Whom the Father will send. They don't even believe that that the, that the Allah is the Father. So it's not even talking about Allah over here. It's talking about the Father. Oh, how could he have a, a son without a consort? I mean, come on, man. How stupid can you be? He doesn't need a the, the, the father doesn't need a consort, man. He's not talking about, you know, a procreation or anything like that, man. It's a spiritual, man. But you always have your eyes on sex, Islam. Always. The gurus, when, uh, you know, the terrorists die, they're going to have these sex. That's why they do it. They think that they're going to die. They're going to have these sexual, luscious creatures. So why are they hiding? Why, why are they hiding all the time? Why? Why are you so scared? Why are you hiding under your bunkers and stuff like that in the Gaza Strip? You understand what I'm saying? I made all these bunkers to hide. Why? 
If you believe that you're going to get all these sexual luscious creatures, let the gun let the gun play a role. Let the fire come. Let the <laughs> missile strike. Who cares? If I believed that I was going to have Wonder Woman for the rest of eternity, my goodness gracious. This is the deal. There ain't going to be no Wonder Woman. There ain't going to be nobody. You ain't going to get no Linda Carter. <laughs> I just say Linda Carter because she's a beautiful person, the most beautiful person in, 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 in existence. You ever saw Wonder Woman? Goodness gracious. The Bionic Woman? You understand what I'm saying? At least the, the younger pictures, anyway. Listen, we're getting yield, older about a minute. You ever saw one? Did you see Lindsay Wagner recently on uh, on Amazon on uh, on Google? Goodness gracious, how people age! But they always have their mind on sex. Always, this I'm just saying. You ain't gonna get no good reason. You're gonna get the wrath of God. That's what you gonna get. I'm just saying. Just the deal. You get no sexual no such creatures. And listen, the Mormon Church. Believes that the, that their wives are going to be pregnant for all eternity. I mean, but this is offspring of Islam, terrestrial kingdom, celestial kingdom, the underwears and stuff like that. You understand what I'm saying? And then you know Joseph Smith. I mean, pop somebody, a judge. You understand what I'm saying? Has somebody uh, pop a judge? He survived though, so he had his assassins just like Muhammad did. It's just uh, I read the, the book by by Alvin Smith. Oh, I think it's called the American Muhammad, isn't it though? Joseph Smith, the American Muhammad. I think I think that's what it was called. Joseph Smith, the American Muhammad, founder of Joseph Smith, founder of, uh, of Mormonism. I think that was. And in speaking about him, well, he had to speak about Muhammad though, because he he was the the hero of Joseph Smith. So he had to speak about the double life, these double lives. You understand what I'm saying? They lived so many years before each other, before, apart from each other. But I mean, he did the uh, to, to, uh, to, uh, Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith was the was the was the Yankee Muhammad. I mean, he 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 mimicked uh, uh, Muhammad to a T. I mean, I just died. That's just the deal. Probably Muhammad was a little smarter than Joseph Smith because uh, Joseph Smith only went went to the second grade. I mean, goodness gracious, man. To the second grade, and that's it. Right, what happened to the third grade? And he's teaching everybody, and everybody's so stupid. You understand what I'm saying? They believe the guy just because he's six foot, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Because he walked with a limp and a cane and stuff like that. And, oh, oh, how charismatic! Wow. See. So is a sucker born every minute. You understand what I'm saying? Remember the Abbott and Costello uh, movie and even the show? They were doing the Thai uh, gig, the Thai routine. And so you had, you know, you know they they um, they had a hat. You understand what I'm saying? And they, this is an army one. I think uh, uh, Abbott and Costello went to, goes to the army. I don't know. But anyway, so, so they have like, I don't know, let's say seven bad ties in there all tied up. And seven good ties. It's like the seven cows and the seven bad cows in Genesis. You understand what I'm saying? But anyway, so they 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 make sure that everybody sees that they tied the, the they tied the ties together with knots, as tight as it is. You understand what I'm saying? But the people don't understand that in the hat they had other. I don't know if it was seven, but anyway, they had other ties that just just throw it in there and they didn't see it. They didn't see them, and then they were just gonna pop them up like. Well, buy these ties, and these ties, man, you can't they can't wrinkle them because you could tie them together with such a to such a degree that when I pop them out of this hat, you ain't gonna see nothing. You're just gonna see single ties popping up. It's always a sucker born. It's always a sucker born for the for the religion of Islam and any other uh, false religion. You understand what I'm saying? Shaolin Temple, I don't care. Got these poor kids studying in the Charlotte Temple. They don't know Jesus Christ. You understand what I'm saying? They can they can stand on their head. They can put their their legs behind their back, and then, like you've never seen anything before. And they don't know Jesus. Just don't know him. You see, that's just a deal. And they got these people over there in the Gaza Strip and stuff like that. You know, uh, suffering to such a degree. But they got this, some of them got the they got the 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 you know Hamas flags and waving around and stuff like that. You 
They're, they're, they're waving. They're, it's probably them. Who knows? It's probably Hamas waving those flags, you know, pretending to be, you know, the people. You know what I'm saying? Because if people can't even vote for about, like, what, 16 years? I mean, come on, man. They held elections in 2007 and can't even vote in 2023. I mean, come on, man. It's time for a change. So. Well, anyway, let's just, well, let's hurry up. Let's hasten, though, okay? And so I want to say, he's a teacher. Okay, teach, uh, we'll teach you of all things, Greek word pranta, and I'll bring, okay, to your uh, remembrance, okay, uh, all that I have, all that I have said to you. That's a lot, because Jesus said a lot in three and a half years. So everything that, that God wanted recorded, you know, in the Bible, the Holy Spirit had to bring back to mind, that to mind, those things to mind, to the minds of the disciples. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, it's just a deal. Uh, but let's go. Let's, let's, let's. Now, I didn't know what number the next uh, chapter would talk about the Holy Spirit. Or have the Holy Spirit, uh, have the Holy, the prophecy of the Holy Spirit. And then uh, I quit. <laughs> so, I said. so I found it yesterday or the day before, whatever the case may be. And it's the same verse right here. That, that's right here. But it's a different chapter. So let's go to it. Almost the last uh, verse. So I, I, I taught myself how to clone verses, Bible verses, so I can use them. For example, uh, you got the resurrection of Jesus, something that Islam doesn't believe, something that the Mormon Church doesn't believe, something that uh, the uh, Watchtower, Bible Track Society, Jehovah's Witnesses don't believe. They don't believe it. So they can't be saved. So they ain't going to go to heaven. So they ain't going to have eternal life. That's all. If you don't believe in what Jesus said, you're going to hell. That's all. That's all. That's good. That's, 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 listen, that's just all there is to it. Jesus said, I am, I am the way. Greek word hadas. Hey, by the way, the definite article right in front of all these words that I'm going to give you. I am he hadas, he aletheas, he zoe. I don't think there's a sigma in aletheas there, but just anyway. Do you get that? Greek word Derek for for way in Hebrew. Ha Derek, by the way, you know what I'm saying? That article, uh, uh, ha is there. The he is the article in Hebrew. Could do other things too. It could be oh, just like, uh, you know, ha could be oh, in, uh, for especially uh, showing special uh, definiteness in the uh, founder recorded around 12 times in the, in the Greek New Testament, around there, and 63 times in the Psalter, in, in, in the Psalms. You know what I'm saying? It's weak demonstrative. It could do a lot of stuff. Just, you know, the, the article high. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's 24 of them, by the way. Let's check it out. This is, now, this is chapter 15. Now, now we, 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 we saw, <laughs> we, 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 triple play. There you go. We saw uh, that he's a helper and he's going to teach and he's, he's going to do some amazing things. He's going to bring back to, to the memory of the disciples the thing that Jesus said. But the clone, because I couldn't find it before, I had to clone it. And that's, that was verse 26. This is verse 26 right here, right on the screen. Verse 26 says something like this. When, still at ASB, when the helper, parakletas, when the helper comes, you know what I'm saying, whom I will send, okay, to you, uh, same, same sort of a thing going on over there, Pimps, uh, I will, I will send is, um, uh, is it a Pemso though? I gotta I wanna check that out. Who I will send though. So that's, that's probably switches to Pemso though. If it's using Pemso there, I will send okay to you uh, from uh, the father, from the father that is in the genitive of there uh 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 Patras. Uh that is the spirit of truth. Who okay proceeds from the father. Proceeds from the father, okay, he will he will testify, okay, Marture, Maturese, Maturese, he will testify, Maturese, the, the Alpha and the Yoda, the, what am I saying, Alpha and Yoda, the Epsilon and the Yoda, goodness gracious, the Epsilon and the Yoda is the, is the personal ending there, the primary active personal ending from, from the master uh, personal ending chart, you know, the, the four boxes and stuff like that, you understand what I'm saying, and uh, it's a personal ending, and then the Sigma is clearly seen there in Marturese. There's no casino, no piscine, nothing like that. It doesn't need it. The spirit of uh, truth, okay, uh, proceeds, from, uh, proceeds from the Father, the spirit of the truth, okay, who, okay, proceeds from 
uh, the Father, he will teach, uh, he will testify about who they say, he will testify about me. Not about Muhammad. Uh uh. He will testify about me. Now, um, when did uh, when did Muhammad ever testify to Jesus? I, I, just, listen, just just be honest. Put your guns down and shut up. You understand what I'm saying? Just shut up for a change. You're supposed to listen to the Quran. The Quran said that the te the people of the book will teach you if you had a question. So shut up and listen. I'm just saying. Put your AK-47 down. Put your pistol down. But not that they use pistols anyway. You understand know what I'm saying? Uh, put your bombs down. Put your, uh, put them down. And just listen. Can't you listen? Why, why can't you listen, though? I thought that you were mature. You were in a university. I thought that Islam is in the university. Just saying. Now, to be fair, not everybody is, is a thug in, in Islam. I'm just saying. There are some peaceful people. As a matter of fact, in New York, okay, I, I, um, where I used to live, there were some nice people that were that were you know um, believers in the Quran. They were nice, man. We used to joke all the time and, and and play and this and that. And I used to buy chicken from those guys and stuff like that. And then there was a store right next to that place, kind of like as if it wasn't one store down, it was another one. And then man, one day uh, my my cart broke. You know the shopping cart, you know like that. You know the the two two wheel gig with the two little wheels in front. <laughs> oh my goodness, great! And so it broke or something like that happened. And I couldn't take my stuff, and so, I mean, this guy is an old guy. He's maybe seventy years old. He took all my bags and that I was carrying, also whatever the case may be, all the way to my house. To say that everybody is a terrorist and to say that everybody isn't nice and to say that everybody is a killer in Islam is a lie. It's a lie, really. Do you think that people are going to be stupid to, to, to commit holy jihad, man? You think that people, you know, that worked on, on, on having a store in, in the United States of America or anywhere, anywhere else, uh, uh, you know, the, all the years that they had a struggle to become citizens of the United States and bring their family over and have a store and have a business and make a nice living and stuff like that, they gonna, and, and they're going to throw it all away for something that the, 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 the well, I can't say it, it's something that the Quran doesn't teach. It does teach it. But some people are secular. Thank God. Some people don't read the Quran every day. Some people are not serious with the, with the Quran. If they were serious, they would be thugs just like the people who are the terrorists. I'm just saying. Now, the reason why I'm picking on Islam because Islam, oh, some of them, not all, some of them teach that Muhammad is here. I just don't see it, though. I just, I just, I just don't see it. I mean, honestly speaking, I mean, if he was here, man, I'd say, listen, uh, Listen, man, I got to switch. I got to I really, I gotta become a uh, Muslim because it says Muhammad right here very plainly. I mean, Muhammad is like OBI, or a capital Mu, right, <laughs> in Greek. Uh, probably Alpha, right, or Omicron, you know, no, I forgot how to spell Muhammad in, in, in Arab, Arab, Aramaic to translate it to Greek. And then there's no H in, in us. I don't know what we're going to do. There's no there's no H in, in Greek, though. Um, and you can't put the hay in the middle of the word. Um, uh, I don't know what you're gonna do. Uh, ma, ma, it has to be ma, ma. It can't be maha. It has to be ma. And then, uh, and, and then a mu again, and then uh, epsilon, and then the delta. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just, I just, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, I mean, you know, it has to be something like that. If it was there, we'll believe this stuff. The Islam's teaching. I would, I'd be the first one to believe. I say, wait a minute, I got wait a minute, y'all, y'all are wrong, and, and uh, we're all wrong, and, and, and Islam is right. But I just don't see it, though. I can't make the switch. I'll never make the switch from that religion because that religion is 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 is, is a fleshly made, you know, man made religion. That's just all there is to it. How can you have, study it for yourself the Quran? I don't think they like English translations and stuff like that because it exposes a multitude of sins that, that, that that's under their skirts. You understand know what I'm saying? So when uh, uh, the son of uh, a son of because uh, he had three, a son of uh, Noah, uh, you know, dies in one surah. A surah is a chapter in in, in the Quran. Don't say Quran, say cool like that. You know, 
um, he dies, and then in the other, uh, in another surah, he lives. What is this? It's like Get Smart all over again. Remember that, remember that show, Get Smart? You know, Maxwell Smart, the secret agent. You know what I'm saying? Is it, remember that he was talking about, he was masquerading as a, as a king. Okay, because he looked just like him. And so, and, and, and so the, the, the people that wanted the, uh, I, I think, I don't know if his name was Basil or something, his brother, I don't know. Tall guy, you know, elegant guy, you know, something with a sword and stuff like that. And, then, and, he, and he, he thought that he popped uh, his, his, his brother. Thought he killed him. And then, uh, and they were celebrating the death of the king. He said, uh, the king is dead. And then, and then, and then Maxwell uh, uh, comes in and they said, or somebody says, uh, that the king lives. And then they spit everything in their, in their cups and in their drinks and in their food and stuff like that. Go, the, the king lives? Come on, man. Now, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I brought that story up, but I forgot. <laughs> God, it's crazy. It's right. That's why the Holy Spirit has to bring everything to our mind. You know what I'm saying? Goodness gracious. Good God. But anyway, well, that's what it says. It's about me. Now, let's go to um, let's go to the coup de grace in the next chapter. Remember, this is a triple play. I mean, it's the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is all is here all across the board. Chapter 14, verse 26. Chapter 15, verse 26. And chapter 16, verses 7 and 8 and 13, 14. The boot. Is that what I'm saying? Oh, you understand that. Yeah, I thought so. No gurries, no sexual luscious, luscious creatures. Now we don't see. See, in Christianity, we we are a um, a a religion that's uh, a lot more mature. At least we're supposed to be than Islam. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't teach, you know, we're talking about born again Christianity, you understand what I'm saying? B-C-T-E-S, you understand what I'm saying? Born again uh, Christians, uh, born again uh, evangelical uh, Trinitarian Christian saints, you understand what I'm saying? I mean, the title was too long for YouTube titles, so I had to cut it up a little bit, you understand what I'm saying? Kind of abbreviated, a little, an acrostic. It's just a deal. You understand what I'm saying? Run out of characters and stuff like that. I'll be running out of characters on YouTube. Is this a deal? Huh? Now, I forgot this also. I've been forgetting things. <laughs> you know? But, um, yeah, no, the, the res, you know, cloning verses and stuff like that, because I got to something else. It's like this, like, you, you take the resurrection of Jesus, Greek word Anastasis, like that. Not in all these chapters and stuff like that, but I'm saying the resurrection is there. And it's recorded in Matthew chapter 28, verse 6, uh, Mark chapter 16, verse 6, Luke chapter 24, verse 6. Uh, it's in the synoptic gospels, like that. Clone, you can clone all of the verses, at least the verses anyway, not the chapters, though. Now, John, the, the beloved apostle, breaks up the set, and he puts it in verse 9 of chapter 20. Not the last chapter, chapter 21, so he breaks up the set. But who cares, he's the beloved apostle, he could do whatever he wants. So the deal. If I will that he remain until I come, what is, it, what is that to you? Follow me in your business, says the Lord. I call the shots. You see? That's just it. That's just the deal. You understand? You understand, don't you, though? Yeah, I hope so. That's just it. All right. Now, let's go to verse 8. Yeah, verse 7, as recorded, I understand. And see what it says in chapter 16 now. Now, we looked at chapter 14 and then in chapter 15, kind of uh, spitting images of each other, if you, if you will. Verse 7 says something like this in NSB, but I tell you the, the truth. It is to your advantage or to your benefit and expedient, another translation says, that I go away. That I go away, for if I do not go away, says Jesus over here, the helper, Paracletos, will not okay, come to you. But if I go, if I should go, that's the, the if is a very aeon, I think that's aeon there in the Greek, is a clear, not really clear, you can't say clear 100%. 
But it's a very nice clue. How about that? Okay, it's a very nice clue that a subjunctive is coming up. Okay? If I should go, he's either H or Omega there. I got to look at it again as the subjunctive morphine. I will send, okay, him to you. And that's who mean, probably there to you. You understand what I'm saying? And he, not it, and he, when he comes, will convict a world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. You understand what I'm saying? That's what he's going to do. And I already went through verse 9. I was just saying. So just, just retain, okay, verse 8 in your mind. Forget of, uh, really, verse 7, okay? Verse 8 and 9 is something else. That's what he's going to do. But, I mean, you know, he's not a force. So, I mean, you can use that to kind of teach the witnesses. You understand what I'm saying? That he's not a force. Because he's going he's gonna to testify. He's going to teach. He's going to speak. He's going he's, to... He's, he's, look, at, look at verse 13. Look at all the things he's going to do. Check this out. Look at verse 13. You think he's a false? Yeah, punk at the tower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, punk. I'm just saying. Talking about Islam and stuff like that and all this other stuff. And we got the Jehovah's Witnesses hanging around. The only thing that Putin did, you know, I mean, uh, right in Russia was kicking the Jehovah's Witnesses out. Eck. That's what I'm saying from, from, from Russia. It's the only thing he did right. Oh, yeah, but when he, not it, when he is spirit of truth, okay, a spirit of truth comes, he will, look, check this out, he will guide, like, you see, that's a force, really? Yeah, punk at the top, yeah, 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 punk, you know what I'm saying? I have to add something that Star Trek had a long time ago, that Klingon, he said, you disgust me, just saying. It's not even for Islam. That's 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 that's, that's for the JW. But you don't have to be a terrorist just to kill. You understand what I'm saying? You could be the 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 bloody witnesses, you know. And I bet you know, uh, the, you know, uh, the wives at the tower they be saying this to their husbands. You know what I'm saying? To go against their teachings. You know what I'm saying? At the tower, you, you're a bloody husband unto me. Instead of the circumcision because of the blood transfusion. Your bloody husband unto me. Yeah, it's a big mouth wife in the, in the tower. Just saying. Alright. Just saying. Blood transfusion, the lack of it and stuff like that. And just like Islam, they, they wanted to kill, you know, some babies and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, you just take your baby away from the incubator or wherever she was at from the tubes or whatever. I mean, you know, just, uh, I mean, you know, take her away from here. Don't, 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 don't save her. Don't give her the blood. I mean, you know, we don't do that at the tower. We don't save babies' lives. But, you know, you we have a helicopter because we're rich people. You know, we'd be selling a lot of magazines and books like that. You know what I'm saying? We could sneak away your, your baby with you and stuff like that in this helicopter. And the couple said, hell no. We ain't going to do that. There's nothing wrong about it. It's, 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 it smells. It smells. It's just like, uh, you know, I was watching Star Wars the other day, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, like uh, uh, A New Hope. And so remember when Han Solo and, and, and I was going to say Sulu, that's another thing. That's another topic, you know. God made Adam and Eve but not Evan, Adam and Steve, but that's just another, you know. <laughs> I was just going to say Sulu from Star Trek, but uh, goodness gracious. Don't call me tiny. Yeah, you are tiny, man. You're going, you're going against William Shatner and went to space. What did you do? What did you do? Don't call me tiny in, in Star Trek 3. Come on, man. He is tiny as it gets. Uh, forget about Sulu, but I'm talking about Luke. <laughs> okay. Luke and uh, and uh, Han Solo had to jump into a like a like a smelly garbage dump or something. Also, just saying. There's these teachings. It smells. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm not going to say it smells good. I'm not going to say it's perfume. These things will lead people to hell. Just saying. Oh, it's just a deal. Let's get back over here. It says verse 13. It says, but uh, chapter 16 of uh, John's gospel. But when he, meaning he, you understand what I'm saying? A uh, person. The, the, the spirit says over here, the spirit of truth comes. When it comes, 
He will guide. Look at that. He's a guy. He's, he's his leader. He will guide you into, okay, all the truth. Because he's the spirit of truth. Now, this is the deal. How can this be, how can this be Muhammad? You're the one who brought him up. So we got to just defeat you, man. We just can't be scared. Scared of what? You guys are going to be in a lake of fire and I'm going to be singing praises to God in heaven. I mean, why well, I got to be scared of you? For why? There's a cemetery waiting for everybody, guys. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody. I'm just saying. Uh, when he gas you, I mean, you was in the plural. There's no doubt. Uh, look at my, my full Greek construction of this, you know. He will guide you, meaning um, uh, uh, probably Humas there. Humas, probably, probably Humas there. He will guide you into, you understand what I'm saying? All the truth. For he will not speak, uh-oh, he will not speak of his own initiative, but okay, whatever he hears, wait a minute, I thought he was a, I thought he was a it. I thought it was a farce. At least the tower was teaching that. You understand what I'm saying? Why does it say that he will hear here? Huh? Whatever he hears. He will speak. Wait a minute, he's gonna speak? He will speak and, okay, he will disclose. Not only is he going to hear, not only is he going to speak, but he's going to disclose things, though. He's going to make things known to you. And that's Humas probably there again. Humino Humas. That is to give. So not only he had to come, but things had to come. Had to come to pass. So that's why we're not scared. Listen. We can't be scared of anyone because God is in control. Things have to come to pass. I was and rumors of war. See that you be not troubled. So why I gotta be troubled? Why? Ah. Can't be troubled about something that, 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 that Jesus said not to be troubled about. He said those fear those who could destroy the body. But after that they can't do anything else. Yeah. I will... I'll show you who you ought to fear. He fear him who could destroy both body and soul and hell. Yeah, I say fear him. I gotta fear God. I don't fear man. I don't fear demon. I don't fear an angelic creature. No. For what? If Jesus said not to fear, then, then, then if I fear the sin, it's a deal. But it says over here he's going to be the guide. He's going to disclose. He's going to speak. He's going to do a lot of things. And he, he's a he. Ooh. <laughs> I thought it was a force. I thought it was a it. You know, Jehovah's Witness, Tony from Florida, the Greek, the, the, the Greek geek. They, they, he was because he, he he thought that knowing Greek was you know carrying around you know vines you know what I'm saying? As people in the church said you know there's this dumb on the church now. There's people in the church that don't even know Greek to their chagrin and even Hebrew and then the, the ones who think they know it you know they, they just carry vines of theirs and that's about us that's, that's, that's the extent of the Greek that they always know. And then when they talk to when they talk to the witnesses, they get into trouble. They got they get beaten campaigns and stuff like that. Just ask James White when he got annihilated, no pun intended, against Greg Stafford on running those JW. You know what I'm saying? It was not even a JW anymore. That's just a Got embarrassed. Is the father the true God? Yes or no? Greg Stafford asked uh, to the chagrin of, of James White. Is the father the true God? Yes or no? Just say yes. That's me saying. Just say yes, man. Your next question. Yes. And I, 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 Mark from Missouri, you know what I'm saying? Mark Jackson. Um, a Jehovah's Witness that used to call here. I don't, I don't call him anymore. Or I, he doesn't call me either. Uh, he lied about something that he promised to do. And, 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 and you know, and I uh, just, I just, I can't stand somebody like that. I can't tell you all the details. If I tell you the details, you would agree. But I can't tell you the details. You understand what I'm saying? Not now. But when he said, is the father a true God, yes or no? Yes, I say yes. I mean, that's the real loud I said it. Next question. 
So why you got to dilly-dally and this and that and, and, and not answer the questions, stuff like that? It's just like George Bush, Bush uh, uh, Sr. Looking, looking at his watch around 1992. I mean, it's just, that's why he lost. He lost a debate. Right there. Right there and there, he lost a debate. And Walter Mondale lost a debate, probably. I mean, when, uh, when Ronald Reagan said, you know, I can't, I can't help it if, you know... Uh, uh, my opponent is, uh, you know, uh, his youth and inexperience or whatever the case may be. <laughs> Come on, man. Everybody, everybody just start laughing. I don't know when this idea that you can't laugh in debates. The only noise you can make is well, the clapping and stuff. At the beginning of the debates, you can't even laugh. I mean, come on, man. Where did that come from? From the church? Let me dive in the church now. So evangelical churches, you know, like uh, Presbyterians and or Baptists, you can't even clap your hands. You can't even kneel. Let me down on them. You can't. You can't even kneel in church. You don't have any room to kneel in these churches. And you can barely sit down on, in, in 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 the pews. I mean, but there's no room to kneel. You can't cry. You can't clap your hands. You can't dance. You can't have a tambourine. You can't. I mean, what what is this? What's this legalism that crept in? In God's house. Oh, let's die on the church now. Come on. We died on Islam. We died on Buddha, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, on the Shaolin Temple. We died on the Mormon church. We died on the, uh, the King James only knuckleheads. You understand what I'm saying? We died on them. Well, let's die on Israel also. Come on, man. We ain't die on them yet. I'm believing uh, Israel. It doesn't even believe that the Messiah came. Let's die on them. Come on, man. 70 weeks of Daniel, you don't even believe the Messiah came already? Because if he didn't, man, well then, uh, it's, 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 it's just, the scriptures aren't true. Exactly to the T. From the building of the temple in the Nehemiah's time, told you about the coming of Messiah, man. That is it. Messiah came, whether you like it or not, and he has to come again. And you guys don't believe he's going to, you know, that he's going to come again. You guys believe that when he came, it was insufficient to fit your, fit your needs. The blast Rome, you know, out of existence and stuff like that. He didn't do it, so that's not your Messiah. You believe in the conquering Messiah, but you don't believe in, you know, in, in part one and part two. See, we believe that was part one, and we're waiting for part two. You understand what I'm saying? And when he comes, y'all going to be cornered. He ain't going to have no bullets. He ain't going to have... Forget Islam for now. Let's talk about Israel. He ain't going to have no air force. He ain't going to have no army. At least you're going to have him. you got to be stuck right in the middle of everyone, including probably the United States is going to go against you. And he's going to encircle you. I'm just saying, I, listen, I, I, there's no threats. I'm saying what Revelation teaches. And they're going to be cornered. Just like they were cornered when they were fleeing from Egypt. You understand what I'm saying? You got Pharaoh and all his hosts to the rear. You got mountains to every side. And you got the sea right in front of you. So what are you going to do? Nah. You couldn't do nothing. Moses had to pray for y'all. He only could pray. He had no power. Power was in God. Not Moses. Don't ever forget it. This, the power is not in the law. The power is in the word. And that's why the water opened up. You understand what I'm saying? The water of life. In the same way, they're going to be cornered. Or they were cornered in that time. It's the same way that Yisrael, Prince of God. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, Jacob himself. Worm Jacob is going to be cornered. And then right then and there, Jesus, yes, Jesus is going to come back and all Israel shall be saved according to Romans chapter 11. What about that, Israel? Let me dive on you too. Oh, but this is anti-Semitism. Shut up. Quiet. Be still and know that I am God, says the Lord. Be still. Shut up. And believe in the only Messiah that will ever come. Because you're going to be cornered. It's going to be a 360. And ain't nothing in hell that you can do about it. When those armies come to annihilate you, there ain't going to be no deliverance except for one. And right then and there, since he's going to burst through the sky, you're going to believe. Let's get back to this. Do you believe that the Holy Spirit is a person? 
Do you believe it? Just look to the Jehovah's Witness. Come on, you're all sexy and sassy over there at the tower. You mean to tell me he's a he's a false? Based on this scripture, really? Are you blind? I'm just saying. Are you blind? Because I can send you, I can send you some glasses if you want. I mean, you know, if you don't. Uh, j j uh, <sighs> is this the same group of people that says uh, that Jesus is the man Christ Jesus is dead forever dead page one of uh, page 454 studies of the scriptures volume 5 and that was done by Russell he, he died before volume 7 you understand what I'm saying yeah it's also He's a, he's a force, really? Well, let's see something about this. Verse 14, he will glorify me. For he will take, oh, wait a minute, but he's a force and he's taking things? He will take of mine and will disclose it to you. And probably who mean there. From who makes who moan who mean who mass. You understand what I'm saying? You understand, right? Oh, yes. Vines. Yeah, okay. Bears. Okay, good, good. Yeah. They're, they're nice. I love vines. I, I love theirs. Theirs was a Unitarian, by the way, who do, who did an amazing thing when it came to Colossians chapter, what, chapter, uh, what was it? A chapter, um, was it chapter 2 and verse 9, something like that, you know? The state of being God. He called Jesus... Jesus, uh, uh, second, uh, I'm sorry, uh, first nature, the state of being God. You can't do, you can't say anything stronger than that. Not even as a evangelical. That's why theirs is loved. Not, not the person, but the, but the lexicon. It's just so truthful, though. Would to God that the JW's translation could be like that, a truthful translation. They would have been, they would have been great people, but, you know, they had their shot. Sometimes you have your shot in life to be great, and then you miss it, you blow it, and you're not. You know what I'm saying? Nobody remembers you. What you say? Oh, I, I die. So anyway, that's the triple play. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, it says over here, just to read uh, verse 15, it says, All things, all things that the Father has, okay, uh, probably eche, probably there. It's just a, uh, it could be a participle, but, well, you know, we could check that out another time. All right. Therefore, okay, I said uh, that he takes, meaning the Holy Spirit takes of mine, and will disclose uh, it to you. Did you get all these chapters, guys? Did you, did you get where it mentions the Holy Spirit here in these three chapters? I mean, that's just a deal. I mean, that's just it. John chapter 14, verse 26. John chapter, John chapter 15, verse 26. And uh, John chapter 16, verses all right, 7, 8, and eh, 13 and 14. Go ahead. Keep it like that, if you will. That's just a deal. Not only does he speak here in verse 13 of chapter 16, you understand what I'm saying? But, but he, he speaks in Acts, uh, Praxis, uh, Praxis, Praxis Apostolone, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verse 16, chapter 8, verse 29, chapter 10, verse 19, chapter what? Chapter 11, verse 12, chapter 13, verse 2, chapter 16, verse 6, chapter 20, verse 23, is it? And chapter 21, verse 11? And chapter 28. A verses, I think it's like 25 through 27 or something like that. Not to mention all the verses in John, chapter 2 and chapter 3, you understand? And uh, 2 Timothy and uh, Hebrews chapter 3 and, 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 and Hebrews chapter 10, I believe. And I mean, all these passages of Scripture. There's that. I believe, I, I believe also, I think, uh, 
Or well, Second Peter. I forgot some of these now. I forgot. I, I'm surprised because I put it to my memory, to my remembrance. Okay, and, I mean, no pun intended. I mean, a few weeks ago I had them down pat, but now it looks like I don't have them down pat anymore. I gotta look at the, gotta look at my own studies. Okay, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Well, that's the study. You know, we all are sinners, we're all in the same boat, and we're all cut from the same cloth. You know what I mean? The Adamic nature, though, they call Islam, again, not believing. I'm just saying, they don't believe in the Adamic nature. They don't believe that the sin of Adam, Hebrew word Adam, and, and the Greek is Adam, and, and, and all of that. See through the, uh, the, uh, the, seeped through the, through the uh, nipples of uh, the human race. I don't believe it. So they think they ain't got nothing to confess. So that's the, that's the plight of Islam. You see. You see. You understand? Mormon Church believes that the father had a grandpappy. Revelation chapter 1 verse 5, I believe. Something like that, right? That's their plight. Being the Yankees, Yankee Muhammad's that they are. And then the King James only knuckleheads, they believe that, the, the, you know, you can only get that story in the King James. <laughs> Not knowing that the word Jesus is found and recorded in the NIV by a count of 270 times more in, in those pages than in the King James. By a count of 1,241 and 971 is a landslide. It's not even close. Goodness gracious. Easter and all this stuff. But, you know, I like to digress. And then the tower, they don't believe in the anastasis of Jesus, the, 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 the bodily, fleshly resurrection of Jesus. Well, they can't be saved. You see? That's the, they don't even believe that you can pray to Jesus. And if you can't pray to Jesus, you can't, you know, if you're not going to call upon the name of the Lord, you ain't going to be saved. And you shall die in your sins. All of y'all. I don't care where you're from. I don't care if you're a nice doctor in the United States of America. I mean, you're all sinners. You're under the same wrath of God. Is that what I'm saying? Terrorists or no terrorists. It doesn't make a difference to me. Martin Lloyd-Jones called it a vicious dog and a, and a nice dog, but they're dogs. This is just just, just, just saying. The doctor went out Jesus, by the way. You know what I'm saying? All the nurse. And from anywhere. Because it's not only the United States. You got nice sinners. You got vicious sinners. What the, what the, what the hell? Sinner is a sinner. You know what I'm saying? That's just it. So what did we learn? Well, we learned that Muhammad is not here in these texts. I'm just saying. If I, listen, if he was here, I'll be the first one to agree. I'll be the first one riding a camel. I'll be the first one going to Mecca. If I can. If I can't stand the stamp beating, I mean, you know, you can't even go. Only two million people could go. So, I mean, Islam guy, again, ain't got a shot in hell to be saved. Because they got to go to Mecca. They know it. They can't do it. It's our life expectancy of a, of a, I said the other day, of a Muslim is 70 years. I mean, if you're a terrorist, it's going to go live that long. But the expectancy is 70 years. I mean, you, you, you and so uh, 2 million people can only go to Mecca in, in one year. So you multiply 70 times 2, you got 140 uh, million. All right, fine there. What about the other billion? What about the other billion? I mean, y'all can't, you, know, you don't have to go if you are financially unable to go and if, if, if you're physically unable to go you, you, you okay so that knocks out you know uh, maybe a couple of more hundred million or something like that or whatever the case may be I mean I don't know but there's about a billion of you that have to go you ain't got no excuse you ain't got no kick and if you can't go well you ain't gonna go to heaven but it's not only that it's the scales of Allah that will really it's the coup de grace in, 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 in every Study that a that a born again trinitarian like me would 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 teach is that the difference between Islam and, and Christianity is a difference between night and day. I mean, we don't have to be saved according to our works. I mean, we don't have this burden. And I was speaking about a burden. We don't have this burden on us. And we're free. That's the beauty of Jesus. He took it all. All to him I owe. Y'all are trying to f satisfy the scales of Allah. First of all, you don't even love Allah. And you say that, you know, and I think it's like chapter 1, even verse 1, it says like, you know, Allah the most merciful. Uh, where, where did he show you mercy? Did he show you mercy at the cross like Jesus did? 
Do you love Allah? I'm just saying, do you love him though? With all your heart, soul, mind, and strength? Why? What did he ever do for you? I'm just saying. You know, I mean, you still, you, you, what did he ever do for you? Y'all are doing everything. I mean, you, you all have to satisfy him. You have to placate him. You have to appease him. You have to put more feathers in the, in, in the weight of the scales of righteousness more than the scales of your wickedness, more than the side of the scales of wickedness. How, how do you know you, that you got more weight on that side of the scale? You, you can't know. Well, you got a machine, you got a, you got a special app that tells you about your dirty works and stuff like that, uh, rather than your righteous works. So I'd like to see that app. I'll tell you that right, right now. Come on, man. You ain't got such a scale. I'm just saying. You got, you got a Messiah coming out of the well in one form of Islam and him coming out of, uh, out of something else in another form of Islam. You know what I'm saying? Got him coming out of a well on one of your your uh, sex. I'm just saying. Disagreeing with each other and stuff like that. The Sufis, the this, the that. I mean, you know. Yeah, people forming, uh, you know, a whole, you know, a holy jihad, and then. Uh, and then and the people say, "Well, what the go, go to hell? I ain't doing that over here, man. I got I got my wife, my kids, my 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 some uh, Islamic says, I got my wife, my kids, my I make my car, my business, my 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 my, my, my store. I ain't gonna, <laughs> gonna do no holy job for you, not for your not for your fat rear ends. Sure, just got my passport, just got my uh, my citizenship, and got this, got that, got my family out of uh." The Middle East or whatever the case may be, and I gotta do a holy jihad for you for what? <laughs> wow, man. Uh, I, I don't see Muhammad here. I'm sorry. I'm just I I, I hate to bust your bubble. I I I I I don't see him. Do you see him? Do you see him? Do you see him here? I'm just saying. I even spelled out the Greek, which it could possibly be, of his name. Ah. Uh, uh, I mean, choose the beauty of Jesus rather than the ugliness of Islam. I hate to put it like that, but I mean, if Jesus did it all, all to him I owe. Sin has left the crimson's name and stain. He washed it white as snow. I mean, why y'all? Why y'all got to perform the scales of Allah? Just come to Jesus. Come as you are. You're not coming to a person. You're not coming to me. You're coming to Jesus. What did Jesus ever do uh, to you? I mean, to you. What, what? 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 What evil do you accuse Jesus of? Which of y'all can convict me of sin? Said Jesus. Which of y'all can do it? I mean, he was talking to the, uh, the the people of his own town. They couldn't even convict him of one sin. So, why? Why you got to struggle in Islam? Why? Why? Why you got four holy jihad? Why you just can't accept the Bible that the, 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 that the promise was for Isaac and not Ishmael? You understand what I'm saying? I mean, you do believe in Abraham. I mean, you believe that, that he's his father. That you're his. That he's your father, according to the flesh. Anyway, he had two sons. I mean, before you know Sarah died. I mean, you know. He had to. He had more after she died. He 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 had two Ishmael and Isaac. I mean, y'all Arabs, are, yeah, you know, I'm believing Arab and, and 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 you know the repentant ones. But I'm just saying, y'all from Ishmael. Come on, admit it. You say you're not from Isaac. Stop laughing. You're not. So what did we learn? Well, he's not here. Muhammad is not here in this in this text. He's not. Let's call a timeout. Let's call a timeout, please. Got my, my police whistle. Uh, the, 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 call a, let me call a timeout for y'all. Huh? And check out the play and run it, run it well this time. And try to score. Stop shooting threes. You can't. And try some layups. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light, said Jesus. Stop trying to score against Trinitarianism. You know what I'm saying? You can't win. You're on the losing side. You're on the wrong side of history, said Obama. You know what I'm saying? 
the wrong side of history. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, the, you ain't the right side of history. You're on the wrong side of history. You know what I'm saying? That was from his inaugural address. You know what I'm saying? 2009 or whatever. Come on, man. Come to Jesus. Why is he a day? Because if you don't, you're going to die. And when you do, you're going to see his holy face. That was him all along and not Muhammad and Allah. You understand know what I'm saying? But it was God the Father sending Jesus. And then Jesus sending the Holy Spirit. Doing this for the kirk. But y'all was busy strapping yourselves in. Suicide bombs and stuff like that. But y'all, the nice side of Islam was just content with your businesses and stuff like that and your degrees. Your chicken places and stuff like that. Okay, fine. I eat them. I, 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 I used to love them, but still. That's what you're content. Just that. Not getting in the arena. The good and the bad and the ugly. That's just sad, Dale. Every knee shall bow to me. Every tongue shall confess. Says the Lord that Jesus is the Lord. To the glory of God the Father. You're going to be dead. And one day, before you're sent to the lake of fire. You ever put your finger in the stove? It's going to be like that all over your body. It's going to be worse than Job. You will be in the lake of fire. You ain't going to have your tunnels. You ain't going to have your AK-47. You ain't going to have your gearies. You ain't going to have your money. You ain't going to have your oil. You ain't going to have your nice little friend Putin on the side if you're from uh, Iran. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't going to have the Chinese connection if you're Putin. You understand what I'm saying? No. It's just going to be you and Jesus. So what you going to do? Blame Israel? That you didn't believe? What are you going to do? And you, Israel. The covenant was given to you. The Ark of the Covenant. You understand what I'm saying? The tabernacle. The promises. The pageants. The scriptures. The prophecies. The temple. I mean, you was given so much. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And you, the Mormon church. The Watchtower Barber Track Society. The King James Oleism. You understand what I'm saying? What y'all gonna do? What y'all gonna do? It's like David Caress all over again. You understand what I'm saying? That's just it. So what you gonna do? It's like Jim Jones. You're following a punk and you're a punk. So then what are you gonna do? Follow him to his death? Follow him to his grave? Look at Jim Jones in 1978. Oh, let's go to Africa with Jim Jones. Our, you know, we're fans of one guy. And look what happened. 900 fell in one day. Or one night. I think they were discovered in a day like that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had to drink poison Kool-Aid because of the order of Jim Jones, one punk. So everybody, it's just, just the deal. That everybody follows just one guy. Damn. Let's see. So what y'all gonna do? Like I said in the study, what did Jesus ever do to you? What did he ever do to you? See the beauty of Jesus, the beauty of the scriptures, the consistency of it all. Come to him. How shall you escape if you neglect so great salvation? Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. The Bible says that he is risen from the dead. He is risen. Matthew chapter 28 verse 6, Mark chapter 16 verse 6, Luke chapter 24 verse 6, all across the board. This angel of is given glory to the God of Israel. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And that means that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, when Jesus said those words, were very much alive. And that means there is a resurrection, both of the just and the unjust. They're actually apostles. Chapter 24, chapter 24 verse 15. Read it. Confess your sins to Jesus. And he can forgive you anything. Almost anything anyway, except for blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Be careful. Careful with speaking, you know, speaking badly against the Holy Spirit. I'm just saying. But other than that, he can forgive you of anything. 
He can forgive you of any sin, in any religion, in any cult, and in any sect. Just come to Him. Come to Him now. Before it's too late. Before you, your teachings, and your body are cast to a lake of fire. The unquenchable fire, written and recorded in Matthew chapter 3, verse 12, and I believe chapter, seven, uh, chapter 3, verse 17, and Luke. Thank you.